Hey guys, Venom is here and I got a brand new OTGT for you. Now today I'm talking about the recent announcement and, you know, kind of news that's been around for a couple days, you know, about a brand new Batman game, okay? This is the sequel to Batman Arkham Asylum, okay? Which, is, you know, a lot of people loved Arkham Asylum, I myself included, you know, so here's some, some of the stuff, you know, in this article that I'm reading on IGN. I'll put the article uh, URL in the description box so you guys can check it out, okay? Bottom line, okay? The, the Batman game is called Batman Arkham City, okay? Now, there's a bunch of different things that could be inferred from that statement, okay? Or from that actual, you know, title of that headline, okay? And on top of what's going on, okay? Okay, there's a teaser trailer. We saw the teaser trailer, you know, back in the day with, uh, what is it? With, uh, what is it? The Joker actually showing up. It looks like he looks really old, which looks like a kind of like side effect from the actual uh, serum that he took in the first game to actually take on Batman. Who knows and stuff like that. And pretty much the main thing is that the entire camera and stuff, what they were showing us in the teaser trailer, was that we were going through Arkham. I mean, not Arkham, but uh, Gotham City, okay? And it looks like the guys that were in Arkham Asylum, okay, might, might have just broken out of Ar Mar might have broken out of Arkham and c just kind of like, you know, roam rampant in the entire city. Now, in the actual, what is it, interview, okay, is with Greg Miller and Harry Goldstein, okay, they're talking about different things about the game, you know, he's talking about, like, you know, certain stuff, you know, what they wanted to change from the original Arkham Asylum to this game, okay, what are some of the things that, you know, that fans were talking about, or some of the different things that, you know, were uh, bad that they hoped, you know, not to repeat again from the first game, and one of the things that came up, was the introduction of Robin, okay? Because we all know in the first game we had Oracle. In case you guys don't know from the comics, Oracle is actually Batgirl, okay? Or Bat Batgirl, you know, you know that went through a whole bunch of stuff in the comics and she kind of changed her, uh, what is it, her alias and stuff like that, but still helped Bruce out on some of his stuff that you know that he went through, okay? So with Oracle and that, they also need they also needed someone else or someone a little bit different, you know, to actually introduce into the sequel. And one of the things that came up was Robin, okay, at least what they were talking about. Either Robin slash Nightwing, okay? They came up with a couple ideas as far as saying, you know, maybe, you know, not so much as co op because they want this game to strictly be uh, what is it, be single player and actually, you know, kind of very similar to how the original Batman Arkham Asylum was. But the idea of having like, you know, someone that helped Batman out as an NPC or, you know, not necessarily, you know, was a control controllable character, but you know, did solve certain puzzles or helped back you up in combat when you're going on taking on like twenty enemies and guys like that, you know, would be a really interesting idea and add whole new elements of different puzzles and gameplay that was, you know, that was really good and original Arkham Asylum. So, personally, in my opinion, I wouldn't mind either Robin or Nightwing. If I had a choice, I would rather go with Nightwing because that's Dick Grayson, you know, you know, grown up and everything like that. And if it's Oracle was in the original game, it obviously would have to take place in a timeline way down the line after Bad Girl was Bad Girl for some time. And during that course, you know, Robin or Dick Grayson became Nightwing. So I would rather, you know, you know, to keep up the consistency as far as like, you know, continuity, continuity and everything. Nightwing would probably be just like a better, uh, was it a better, a better choice than maybe Robin? But if they did have Robin in there, I wouldn't mind. And then also there is the point of which they do talk about here, the arena mode. In case you guys don't remember, it was those missions in the original Arkham Asylum where you could just choose a character, whether it was Batman or the Joker, depending on the, what is it, depending on the version of the game you had. You could actually, what is it, fight a whole bunch of groups of enemies or survive or uh, sneak from one point to another against a whole bunch of, what is it, enemies trying to kill you. So I wouldn't mind necessarily maybe if I had the ability to choose and play as Robin or Night wing or Batgirl or whoever what is it and things like that but as far as the main storyline I would rather just keep it to as Batman and if they were to introduce another person besides Oracle to help them out just have Nightwing as like a person on the side that kind of helps you out as you progress through everything but keep the core gameplay and the core story and the main point of everything around Batman that's that in my opinion would be you know the best route that could, they could possibly take now they do mention a little bit, if I could find the section really quickly before, you know, this video gets too long about the, what is it, about the, what is it, the, the detective mode and stuff. One of the big things, in case you guys didn't know, was that the detective mode kind of happened on accident. They didn't necessarily mean it as, was it, created or wanted, wanted it to necessarily become a thing that players use all the time. And no, everybody would just see detect what is it, would stay in detective mode and play the whole game kind of like that, instead of actually looking at everything and stuff and they kind of really abused
detective and the game developers never really, never intentionally wanted it to be like that so in this one they talk about maybe actually making the detective mode may, maybe a little bit much more harder to use or have a time limit on it to actually like you can't stay in detective mode so long or maybe when you're in there uh, certain only certain things can be visible and you can't see maybe the environment around you or st you can't see certain things like that so it would force you to actually go back to actually seeing things the way they are supposed to be and add a whole new element of like difficulty or what is it or challenge to the actual gameplay as your Batman moving around and stuff like that. But this is all hearsay for now. Like it's still early on in development. You know, there's another thing about Catwoman. Like more than likely, you're like her having an appearance or maybe co-op with her. Personally, I wish there would be no co-op in Batman: Arkham City. Honestly, because just solo campaign alone, like that Batman: Arkham Asylum was perfect. Like it would be cool. Yes, maybe in arena mode to team up with a uh, was it a second player to be Batman and Robin or Batman and Nightwing just being the crap out of enemies. But single player just keep it like that you know the main story just keep it like that no co-op necessary it's all good from there okay and my that's just my opinion guys okay but anyway leave your comments and video responses i don't mind just keep it civil let us know what you guys think you know check out the article let, go over everything that what they were talking about you know get a big discussion going about this because you know this is this looks like it's going to be a pretty damn good game because the first batman arkham Asylum was awesome it was one of those kind of like sleeper hits that not many people thought was going to be good so i actually i'm pretty sure there's a lot of people out there that have high hopes for this so anyway that's just my stuff on it let me know what you guys think and i'll talk to you guys again soon venomous is out and that was only the goddamn truth talk to y'all later